Hello and welcome to another ARM Software Developer Breakdown. My name is Robert Wolf, and in this video, we will once again be meeting with Angel Rivera, Developer Advocate at CircleCI, to continue building out his CI CD pipeline with ARM resource classes. If you missed any of the previous parts to this series, cruise on down to the description and find the part that you're on. Okay, here we are again. And in the last video, we got to meet Angel, and he gave us a great overview of the CircleCI ARM offering and his upcoming demo. Now, before we start building anything, it's important to take a look at any hardware and software requirements or dependencies, and in this case, resource classes. That will be necessary to follow along. Angel, you're up, take it away. Thanks again, Robert. So this demonstration has a few integration points, and the reason is I wanted to create a more realistic uh, continuous delivery or CI-CD pipeline. In this case, since we do have some integrations uh, outside of the CircleCI platform, users are going to need a few things. I actually wrote a blog about this you know, demonstration, so uh, it's pretty well documented about the prerequisites and things you're going to need. So if you access that blog, there's a prerequisites list, and you can follow along there. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is a GitHub account. Uh, you're going to have to, you know, fork this project. Um, this has all the code that you're going to see today. Uh, mine's going to be a little bit different because it's my project that I use to, you know, work um, and demonstrate things. Uh, but in general, these these the the code in this uh, repository is going to be what you need to get started. The next thing you're going to need is obviously a Circle CI account so that you can wire up uh, your forked example account. Then we're also going to need a Docker Hub account. Uh, this is really important because in this demonstration, I'm packaging up Docker images uh, or the app into Docker images that are ARM compatible. Uh, and then I'm going to leverage Terraform to provision some infrastructure and then deploy uh, this application. So uh, you're going to need a Terraform cloud account, uh, which is free. Uh, just sign up and create uh, some workspaces based off of the, the steps in the blog, but I'll also cover that uh, in in later sessions. Uh, and then finally, you're going to need an AWS account. They do have a free tier, but I will warn you that you do need to sign up with a credit card to establish your account. It's just AWS's policies. But once you have that in place, you should be able to, you know, uh, leverage the, the platform to follow along with this demonstration. Angel, I have to admit this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think we're just about ready to get started. So don't forget to like the video, follow our channel and stay tuned because in the next part of the series, Angel is finally gonna kickstart his demo. Join us and follow along in the next ARM Software Developer Breakdown.